kitchen diner again it's time for another segment of the BTS vlogs BTS vlog should say uh, yeah it's been uh, a weird last couple of days uh, I've been mostly sleeping I don't know as I got really these last uh, these last couple of days since, since Tuesday I've been doing a lot of sleeping I was very fatigued over the weekend and then uh, I guess a little bit of a crash came on uh, starting uh, Monday. Hit full force on Tuesday, and now I'm starting to sort of pick up again. And we'll kind of leave off from there. Isn't the thing is with the uh, with the uh, what call the efficiency mode? I said things still have to be done. Like yesterday, we went we went for a walk and uh, we went food shopping for the kitchen diner. And my uh, summer menu is in full swing now because we and we now are in the kitchen diner. I'm finally vlogging in the kitchen diner, so these are our test shots for the kitchen diner. And you know, I'm working on a new. Uh, I've got the uh, stir fry set up. I got the uh, the wok set up. Everything's going. I got the noodle dishes going. That's mostly for dinner. For lunches, I'm working on a banh mi sandwich. I have one type of banh mi already that's a little different from the original and this is the whole thing is the, it's, the, it's about technique is, and, is, and once you got the technique down then you can then go and vary the different uh, vary your um, types of sandwiches by my, my new degree so here's a break it down to a basic uh, to the basics the banh mi sandwich is essentially um, it's basically a Vietnamese submarine. If you know what a submarine is, okay, that's it's the bigger sandwich. Uh, but instead of using the regular white bread, it uses Italian bread. It's supposed to be using the French bread because it's supposed to be French. But the way the bread actually comes out, it comes out as like a, more like an Italian bread than it does a French bread. Uh, so you're more on Italian than you are on, in terms of the flavor and texture. <clears throat> then you are on a then then you then you are on the French. So, uh, that being said, that you move on to the next part. The next part is they use a uh, uh, as the uh, I guess it's called the spread on them is they use uh, a, a, it's a mayonnaise based spread. So you could take any mayonnaise based. Uh, spread it you want and because otherwise you could fix it up any way you want to do that and one of the things this is that made is essentially um, whipped eggs vinegar and oil that's the, the essential uh, that's the essential ingredients then you can add in mustard and you can add in a variety of other different things the thing is the Asians have a large variety of vinegar so if you change your vinegars you change the mayonnaise uh, same thing if you want to put extra spices in there if you want to you know there's a number of things you can send so you go with the base mayonnaise and then from the base mayonnaise you can sort of uh, fix it up any way you want to fix it up and I've done that um, I didn't actually do a, 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 a mixture of mayonnaise and mustard what I did is I put uh, mayonnaise on one side of the bread and, and mustard on the other side of the bread so mustard on one side uh, mustard on the bottom mayonnaise on top uh, and because there's two different types of meats, I put the ham with the mustard, and I put the the second type of meat, which is the uh, which is basically a um, it's more of, see, ham is pork. Let's put it the way it's pork, but it's not it's not the white meat part of pork. 
it's the uh, it's basically a tenderloin uh, the tenderloin or chop when you make that into a sausage uh, that has a white meat if you use the muscles like uh, around the shoulder or the leg of the butt uh, that's the redder type of meat uh, and that's basically your ham so your ham and your pork tenderloin so pork tenderloin is white ham is more of a red color and between the two this is what makes up the meats of the banh mi sandwich and you can fl and if you're making your own sausages you can actually vary that up a little bit uh but let's not that let's, that's what we're doing today is the variation is in the is in minor adjustments and i've mixed up the mayonnaise i mixed up the spreads on the top uh i'm now making a uh because the it doesn't just stick stick with the meat and it doesn't use lettuce it doesn't use lettuce for the sandwich either and it doesn't use cheese what it does use is a pickled vegetable and so you can change and you can either do pickled vegetable and what i've done is I've, instead of using just uh pickled carrots uh i've now uh starting to use uh, i make a um coleslaw because that's also a pickled vegetable i'm using a coleslaw and I'm varying it from kimchi to uh, this one I'm trying now. I'm actually trying a uh, a pear uh, coleslaw on the banh mi sandwich. That's what I'm be trying today. So we'll see how that works out, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, yeah. So that's the thing is, is the whole summer is going to be about. Is it going to be about uh, learning the street foods, learning the different variations, different things you can do with it. And try to fill out a whole menu. And the thing about street food, the Asian street food, is that it's very cheap. So if you're on a budget, if you're on a freaking budget, this is the way to go. Because it's the cheapest way of eating. But it's also a high quality way of eating. This is the sort of thing is that the Asian street food is cheap, but it's high quality. The, the, the food is good. So this is what you're trying to replicate here. This is what you're trying to do. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, the kitchen diner is underway. Finally. So we'll see what we can do with the rest of the uh, video day today, the rest of the uh, shoots, uh, the uh, all the other work that has to be done because it's piling up again. Uh, anyways, that's about it. I'll see you later. <laughs>Good morning. It's time for another segment of the BTS vlog. As I said before, it's not always morning. Sometimes it's afternoon. That's right. It is uh, 14 hours and 12 minutes into the day of Friday, June 13th, 2014. I was just about to say to 2015. Uh, yeah. I'm starting to get my... Uh, uh, my energy back so I'm gonna be doing more on a daily basis uh, but the last week has been an unusual week up uh, because I have had that fatigue but I've also had to do a lot of uh, administration work there's a lot of administrative work that had to get done uh, to reorganize to restructure the channel uh, so that all the work that I had done initially could be put in and you'll start you'll start seeing these changes on a more re regular basis as the channel starts to grow as particularly as the network starts to grow and i bring in all the various research institutes and you'll start seeing more of the research out there and rather than being in one place it's going to be more uh decentralized it's not going to be all in one place but you'll be able to see the different bits and pieces of the research because it's too much to put all in the beat up it's too much to put everything in the BTS vlogs. Yeah, the BTS vlogs are the ad hoc notes to a certain degree. Uh, but the thing is, I can't bring all the ad hoc notes in here. That's because there's just too much to bring in. So uh, the uh, Institute channels, the Research Institute channels, will handle a lot of the ad hoc notes that are just simply not in uh, BTS vlog because there's simply not enough room for it. Uh, so, uh, you can go take a look at the different various channels to see uh, what area you might like. The way we're going is that we're not going to be a standard PBS channel. We're not. Most PBS channels are aimed at uh, they're aimed at people in terms of the academic level. They're aimed at uh, essentially below first year and below. 
So basically, junior high, high school, and maybe your first year of college, that's where uh, PBS is aimed. We're going to be aimed at first year and up. Now, we're going to try and make the, the, uh, the more academic programs accessible to the younger levels. Uh, we're still working on that, but uh, it's going to take a lot of work to do that. So uh, <laughs> you're going to have to sort of, in many ways, bear with us, you know. And uh, bit by bit, we will sort of, you know, start moving along, getting all this stuff done. So uh, anyways, as I said, we're in the kitchen diner. We're finally vlogging in the kitchen diner. That means the kitchen diner is going to be coming along soon as its own show. So look for that. Uh, so that's the thing now is to get the, back to the editing bay and start clearing off the backlog because of what I was doing the while I was doing the uh, while I've been doing the administrative work, uh, the the uh, network uh, editing bay is now further backlog than it's been before, uh, <laughs> and then you know that's kind of the way things go, you know. So uh, if you want, if you have any suggestions of the type of shows you'd like to see or any other suggestions like that, feel feel, feel to drop us a line. Just leave us a comment in any of the uh, videos that we have uh, or leave us a, a channel comment. Uh, you know, we don't mind positive or negative. Uh, uh, we're trying to grow. We're trying to get better. And uh, that's how we're going to do it. Uh, alrighty. So. I'll talk to you uh, in a bit. I'll see you around the different institute channels for uh, other segments of the BTS vlog in terms of the, the ad hoc notes. So uh, they are more successful. I've tried to test it out. It worked out well for the for the AP Space TV channel. Oh, so AP 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 Space TV. Uh, I did my first test note there. It worked out, and you'll start seeing it off. It'll, it'll be in the playlists and everything, so you can go check that out. Alrighty, so uh, I'll see you uh, in a little while. Alright, bye bye. Well, it's uh, just about 7.30 on June 18th, so it's Wednesday. And I haven't vlogged in a couple days because, well, unfortunately there was no, for, since Monday there's been no night and day. And once again I was in those one of those funks where if I didn't know where night and day was, uh, I really couldn't uh, vlog. So it's been a lot of sleeping. Uh, but work has been getting done. Uh, and what I realized is that uh, my body does need to recover from the winter still. So, uh, and what happens when your body time size needs to regenerate itself, it does so in your sleep while you're sleeping. So that's one of the reasons why sometimes your body may be fatigued and you feel like you want to go to sleep. Uh, the body's kind of telling you that uh, there are repairs that are need to be done and <laughs> that's the way it does it by going to sleep. So anyways, uh, I'm off food shopping again. Uh, I don't have to get that much, it's just uh, like milk and uh, some fruit. And that's basically it. So, <laughs> I will see you uh, possibly on the way back. So I'll give you a time and date stamp after I've gotten everything. I'll get the receipt and give you a time and date stamp off the receipt. And then after that, uh, you know, see you back at the office. Alrighty, take it easy. Be prepared to have what you know, challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Well, it has been a while, yeah. <laughs> um, you'll notice that there's going to be a bit of a delay in these logs. Anyways, it is 2 hours and 25 minutes into the day of Wednesday, June 25th, 2014. And finally, after uh, many days of delay, uh, I've been able to get out of my funk and I'm start recording. I'm starting to record, to uh, vlog again. Uh, part of the problem was I was working on a project. I got bogged down on the project. Basically, it has to do with rearranging my notes, and 
also at the same time I was doing some extra heavy re extra heavy research. Uh, another thing is that the research doesn't stop while I'm filming. So it's the TV channel TV channel is going ahead, it's moving ahead fine, it's developing. Uh, but at the same time the research has to go on. And if I get bogged down bogged down in a research project, that's when things really start uh, uh, to back up a little bit. And then if I get tired and uh, well I do get tired, I get, you know, I get I go into a fatigue mode. Then my body starts to crash and uh, you wind up with a delay and normally is it these things would, would normally throw me off to a point where there'd be several months where there wouldn't be any vlogs. Now it's uh, I've kind of fallen off the uh, horse if you will, fallen off the wagon uh, for about two weeks, but it's about a bit of a two week thing. Uh, so that's that's kind of the way things go. You'll notice some changes. I'm bringing in a new style of vlogging. I'm testing it out on the AP, AP on the AP uh, Space Channel, AP, AP Space TV. Uh, it's a new way of bringing in uh, uh, more of the content. Uh, rather, because BTS vlogs, the most you can do in BTS vlogs is a half hour, and there's not enough time to fit everything in. To fill all the ad hoc notes, and so the BTS vlog is going to be some of the ad hoc notes. For more in depth on the ad hoc notes, you're going to have to go into to, uh, Insta vlogs, and then they'll be specific to each channel. They're not going to be on uh, the main Cyborg Galaxy TV channel. They'll be uh, spread across the network. So you'll you'll see them. You'll see this as this new feature pops up. You'll see how this works out. The other thing is is that starting uh, mid July, basically about, about uh, July 15th. We're going on hiatus uh, until August 15th. We're taking a month off. Do need to do that every once in a while to sort of uh, re recuperate a little bit and sort of re get our bearings. Uh, so there's not going to be there's going to be filming, but there's not going to be any uploading. That's kind of the way it's going to work. There's going to be filming, but no uploading. So uh, that's where we're going with things. Uh, if you comment down below. It does take me a while to, to, to comment back. And one of the reasons why it takes me a while to comment back because I'm going to answer your your questions, your comments. I'm going to respond to your comments. Going to answer your questions that are down below in the comments. I'm going to uh, I'm going to answer them in the videos. That's, in other words, uh, and I will give you a shout out. I will mention your name. Uh, I'll put your uh, comment as a reference uh, down below in the description. So. Uh, yeah, that's uh, the way I'm going to do it, you know, since we are an interactive uh, channel, hope to be an interactive channel anyways. Uh, that's how I'm going to deal with uh, comments and response and comments and questions. You know, so if you make a comment that needs a response, I'll come in, make a video to that, and you'll see that response on one of the Insta vlogs. So, anyways... Uh, <laughs> Uh, our time is now up. I think we've done enough time. As I'm trying to keep these, do these shorter. So I will see see you hopefully tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, a little later, a little later on, because um, I do have some sleep to do. Well, I won't get to bed till like six o'clock in the morning, but I will get up again around uh, noon. So uh, I'm only gonna get about six hours tonight. So we'll see what happens, anyways. Anyways, see you in a couple hours. Bye bye. Well, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> yeah. Now that we've got the kitchen diner going, so I'm back here now. <clears throat> Anyways, let me give you the time and date stamp. It is... Uh, 13 hours and 54 minutes into the day of Saturday, June... No, Tuesday, June 17th, 2014. Yeah, I'm really tired. Uh, <clears throat> that's what's been happening the last few days. I've just been knocked out. I'm still working on the note system, trying to sort of readjust it uh, to expand uh, the amount of research that's done any, in, at any one point in time. I've begun working on the prototyping, the prototyping and engineering lab. That work has begun. It's going to be a more or less a year-long project so that's going to include uh, work on the uh, on the electronics bench. So 
A lot of these projects could continue on. It just would happen sometimes they get a little stalled uh, because of waiting for something to, uh, you know, to sort of some some obstacle obstacle to clear up. And when that happens, then you can sort of move forward. And that's what's happening. Bit by bit, I'm getting a lot of the backlog cleared. I still have work to do on the channels. The channel alignment is now for the network is now more or less there. I have to get back to the uh, show production. That's kind of backlogged on the editing bay again. <laughs> uh, the, 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 you, we run into a series of obstacles. You run into a series of uh, backlog. <coughs> Sorry. It's sort of the same thing again, over and over again. You make some progress, there's a delay. You make some progress, there's a delay. You make some progress, there's a delay. And that's kind of the way things go. It's um, a very slow process. So it's a matter of sticking it out, a matter of sort of growing uh, the channel. Uh, I don't think this channel is going to be that popular. I don't think it's going to be a, a, a very popular channel because we're doing something very different. But, you know, we'll try different things out. You know, I have a number of... Uh, <coughs> Options and other a number of uh, different uh, things I'm working on that might uh, sort of some might be pop, other might might not might not be so popular. <sighs> Excuse me again. Others might not be so popular. It it just it really sort of depends. So I'll keep plugging away at this, and it looks like we are sort of heading towards the October um, date for the live launch. So look for that. Oh. Uh, yeah, anyways, I will see you later on today. I'll see you around the place uh, because uh, I will be vlogging more, but uh, oh, not in the BTS vlog. I've got a new series of uh, notes that are just going to go up. They're plain notes, they're uh, research notes. And they'll be going up on the various different Institute channels. So uh, look for that there. And I'll see you. Around. Great. <laughs> right. Take it easy. Bye bye. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's time for uh, another segment of the BTS vlog. And that is for. Just because I say it's good. Just because I say good morning doesn't necessarily mean that it's time wise morning, so. That being said, let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 14 hours and 46 minutes into the day of Friday, June 20th, 2014. Yeah. Uh, this last week I've had a hard time vlogging, being consistent in my vlogging. Uh, I seem to have been, uh, these last two weeks, I seem to have been hit with a, an enormous amount of fatigue. When I was awake and when I was asleep was really kind of unknown. And when I'm in that state, uh, it's rather difficult to vlog. And so, that's what happened. But as uh, so you see, there's not much, not, you know, I set up the TV, I set up the TV channel. The network is now more or less all connected. Uh, if you go to the main channel, you'll see that everything's connected. you see there's a whole bunch of channels there. And now we're just ready to get started. So, uh, that's what's happening now. Uh, we are going to get started two weeks later. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, there's still two more channels I have to bring into the network. Uh, I, I will work on that uh, next week. Get those up and running. And hopefully... Uh, by mid July, when we go on hiatus, uh, we'll have more than enough ready for uh, uh, September when we come back, or actually for, for mid August. Come back mid August and we start fresh on mid in mid August. So, <laughs> uh, you know, well, this it's going to be a chore. It's going to be something you know. Uh, an interesting run to we'll see how things work out but 
you know, that's that how that's kind of how things go. You, you know, you have a set schedule on when you think things are gonna get done, but then there's the real schedule when things actually do get done. So, <laughs> and uh, the goal in between is to sort of try to. Uh, want, well, there's two goals. Uh, one is to make sure that your understanding and assessments are more realistic, and then two, uh, to also try and work towards become more efficient, get more of the work done, so that you can achieve some of the goals that you set out to achieve. So, uh, anyways, uh, that's about it for now. I will see you later, uh, probably in the kitchen diner. I have some work on the kitchen diner today, and now that we've got the camera working in there, we can film more on there, so yay! <laughs> uh, I will see you later then. Alright, bye bye. Uh, good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's time to get another segment of the BTS. Vlog started. <laughs> Yawning again. Anyways, it is just 15 hours and you know, no minutes. It's 15 hours into the day of Thursday, June 26, 2014. Yeah, I went mocking yesterday. I, I, I ended up going food shopping. I wasn't able to bring you with me because it was raining outside. Uh, and I didn't know how what the camera would get. So I didn't bring you with me. Uh, that being said, uh, I did end up stopping off at the dollar store and getting a raincoat uh, for my backpack. So my backpack now has a raincoat and uh, I can get things without really worrying about the bag and the contents on inside the bag getting wet. So that's a good thing and uh, yay for that. Otherwise, uh, it was a day of cleaning. I did a lot of cleaning yesterday. I managed to get a lot of work done, and I'm getting more. I'm, I seem to have more energy to do things. So that means I can get more things done, and I can start sort of uh, clearing up some of the backlog. Every time you have interrupts. And other vloggers talk about this. They talk about the things of the reasons why they are absent from their vlog and the reason why they've been away for so long. And it's always there's always something there's something there are things that pop up that knock you off that stop you from vlogging, and the end up, the end result is that you are away for for a bit and then you come back to it again and you realize. <sighs> Sorry, uh, you realize uh, how long you've actually been away. And so I was doing that yesterday as, as I was going around uh, watching my vlog channel, the channels that I liked in terms of the vloggers. And, you know, I said vlogging is like, is, you know, it, it, in terms of the way it's become, I use it f as the scientific means of maintaining my diary, maintaining my uh, research log, whether it's ad hoc notes or now the more organized notes, which is Insta vlogs, uh, either one of these two uh, are the sort of the scientific view of vlogging. But there are those who now have taken from the YouTube t uh, the uh, YouTube uh, view, where it's you kind of you're, you're kind of like it's kind of like going around and visiting people, and uh, if they're typically pleasant people, then it's not a bad thing. Is you know you're you're, you're happy with it. Uh, uh, in other words, you got to find your personality, the people you like hanging around with, and that's those are the people those those are the channels that you visit. And that's what it's like. It's like visiting for a bit. Um, it really depends on what it depends on what your tastes are. You know who you who you have in your vlog list. Anyways, it's time to get the rest of the day started. I do have a lot scheduled for today. Let's see what we can do on the uh, the video schedule in terms of the filming. Me. The filming, the editing, and the uploading. Anyways, uh, I will see you later on today. All right, take it easy.
Welcome. Welcome to the library. And I am the library. I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say, can you see? Speech rules here at Democratic Earth.